Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you. I have new food finds. I shopped at two stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and we'd love to have you join our free Facebook group, so come join us. So let's head on into the kitchen for this big grocery haul. So the first part of my haul is a little small haul from Sprouts. So let me show you what I picked up. So the first thing I grabbed was from the brand Pipcorn. I've actually heard really good things about this brand and they were buy one, get one free. So I grabbed the cheese balls made with real cheddar cheese, 20% less fat. These have 140 calories for one ounce. And then these are really good. I actually had a couple of these in the car. These are amazing. They actually taste like churros. These are the twists, the cinnamon, and these have 50% less fat and they're only 130 calories per serving. Really good, highly recommend. The twists are new and these are currently buy one, get one free. And then I also got another bag of my other favorite chips. These are really my all-time favorite chip. These are from the brand Terra and they're root vegetable chips. So it's sweet potato, parsnips, kettle potato, and batata, batata, batata. These are really good too, 160 calories per serving. I really like them. They have nice clean ingredients. I also grabbed some hamburger buns so we can have burgers for dinner tonight. I picked up these ice cream bars for Troy. These are strawberry cream swirled with organic cream. I may actually have one of these too. They're 100 calories per bar. They have one gram of protein and only three and a half grams of fat. So not bad at all. I thought they sounded really good and they're from the brand Aldine's Organic. I also got some string cheese because we are completely out of string cheese. Some of the pre-shredded, ready to go, all white meat chicken, the family size. This is for Lola. I do chicken and rice for her when she's going through chemo. She doesn't eat very good, so that is one thing she will eat. So this just makes my life a lot easier. I picked up this little cheese tray just for cheese and crackers. It has cheddar, Swiss, Habardi, and imported Gouda. And I thought that might be really good on the burgers also. Speaking of burgers, I did pick up some 93.7 for me, and then I'm just going to make just regular 80.20 for Troy, but this will be easy because they are ready to go. I also got two things of blueberries because these are on sale for $3, and lastly, some bananas because I'm still on a banana kick. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul from Walmart. I decided to shop at Walmart this week since I was picking up our family photo prints. Stay tuned for Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day for more details on that. I did show some of the photos in this last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So if you missed that video, I'll link it for you, but let's jump into the Walmart haul. So the first thing I picked up was a watermelon. It was so good from Sam's Club. We ate it all in literally a few days. So I picked up another one. I'm hoping this one is equally as good as the one from Sam's. And then I did grab quite a few candles. I actually really like the Mainstays candles from Walmart. They're $3.96 a piece. So I so I grabbed some summery scent. So I have cranberry mandarin spice. This smells really good. Actually, all of these smell amazing. And then I have sweet sugared lemon. I love a lemon candle in my kitchen. This one is incredible. This cozy comfort. They sell it in a bigger version too for $6, I think, but I just got the small version. This one also smells amazing. And that's juicy watermelon peach and mango, and then I really like this too, sweet apple. So I picked up a few candles. I got another loaf of Troy's favorite bread. This is the artisanal bread from Sara Lee. I wasn't sure if he had any left. I one step ahead and picked up another loaf. And then I also grabbed this for him for the week. These are the vanilla little iced cakes. They were in the reduced bakery section at Walmart. I will say Fry's or Kroger stores has a way better reduced bakery section. This is all they had besides donuts and bread. So I picked those up. I needed tater tots for a dinner recipe, two gallons of 1% milk for Troy, and then I picked up a ton of yogurt. So I did decide to get one big container of the Too Good Vanilla. There's a recipe I found on 
on TikTok or saw on TikTok that I want to share with you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. It's a dessert recipe, and I'm going to just use this yogurt because it's easier to weigh out the right amount, but I did pick up some little cups too for my yogurt bowls, so I grabbed a bananas and cream since I have some bananas. One of you told me to try the light and fit key lime, so I grabbed that, and this honestly is my favorite light and fit for yogurt bowls, the marshmallow. It's amazing. It's so, so good. So I actually grabbed two of those. I needed some sirloin steak for my lunch meal prep. Look how expensive it was. They didn't really have a lot of options for sir sirloin and I wanted a loin steak because it's less fatty, less points, less calories, less fat. So I bit the bullet and picked this up. It'll be delicious in my lunch meal prep. And then I did get quite a bit of cheese, some ultra thin provolone cheese, also for my lunch meal prep. My favorite cheese ever is the Sargento Reduced Fat Pepper Jack. Walmart is the only place I can find this. So whenever I go to Walmart, I always grab a pack. And then I did need some light shredded Fiesta blend for a recipe. I grabbed some Cheez-Its. I love the extra toasty, but this time I got the Cheddar Jack. I did not mean to get the Cheddar Jack. I just wanted the regular ones, but I did break into these in the car. I wanted to try them and they are really good. I do prefer the regular, but the extra toasty is definitely my favorite. I needed some white wine for a dinner recipe, so I bought the cheapest wine. I wanna say this was less than $4. It's probably the doesn't taste very good as wine, but I don't drink alcohol. I'm going to use it in the recipe and, and that's all I needed it for. And then I needed some beef broth for a recipe as well as a restock on my Worcestershire sauce. I was completely out. Orzo pasta for a recipe. And then I also needed a couple canned goods, a can of mild Rotel and then a small can of enchilada sauce. I always buy mild. I did grab the real good chicken nuggets. I wanted these to last until I can get back to Costco to buy the big, big bag. And Walmart is the only store around me that carries them. So again, I just picked them up to have them on hand. And then also to have on hand, these were only $2 a box. I literally pay $4 at Fry. So I picked up two boxes for the price of one. I always like to have taco shells in the cupboard because tacos are just a really easy dinner. So I went ahead again and picked up two boxes. Also, two boxes of Yasso bars. Troy asked for these, so I got one of the chocolate mint and one of the cookie dough. I'm really hoping that Costco has these when I go back so I can buy them in bulk. For produce, I did grab a huge bag of onions for my lunch meal prep. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinner and meal prep on Monday. I got strawberries because these look amazing and this whole pack was less than $4. I needed portobello mushrooms for a recipe as well as fresh thyme. And then after I made that key lime cheesecake and meal prep this last week, I'm out of lime juice. So I picked up a restock of lime juice. And what you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke and an eight pack of Gatorade Zero for Troy. Those are both out in the garage. I missed a couple things. So before we jump into the meal, meal plan, I did grab these Idaho and Ranch potatoes. These are new. These sound amazing. I love ranch in my potatoes, so I'm so excited for those. And then I did pick up Skittles because I want to do a Skittles Chooses My Makeup on my beauty channel and on TikTok. So I grabbed these. That's such a super fun trend to do. So I picked those up for that. So let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So I'm making French onion meatballs with orzo. You'll actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I'm doing a beef enchilada tater tot casserole. I'm very intrigued by this. And then we're going to have a spaghetti night. Very, very, very excited for meal prep. I'm doing berry protein pancake bites. For lunch, I'm doing a Philly cheesesteak bowl. And then for a sweet treat, look at that, Funfetti shortbread cookies. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sprouts and Walmart and those new food finds, some great deals. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, don't forget to thumbs it up. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss any future videos. Stop by the description box before you go to check out Nutrition Coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we'd love to have you. Happy Saturday friends and I will see you in tomorrow's video.